What's going on everybody? It's Austin Putnam here for Flight Direct and I have the incredible honor, and that's an honor to by the way, of talking to Tyler and Matt Radio Silence on their new film. <laughs> Abigail, how's it going with you two? Real good. It's going good. It's good to meet so, you. Man. Oh god, it, pleasure is all mine. You're going from Scream to a Universal Monsters movie. How does that feel going on from one franchise to the other and the pressures that goes on to tackling on such a big franchise like this? I mean, I think we pinch ourselves almost every day because <laughs> all of everything you just said sounds unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, for us, the, the really exciting thing was after doing Screen 5 and 6 was going into something that was sort of just an open door and we didn't really know what it was yet. And we got to kind of discover that as we were doing it. And there was something so exciting to us, so freeing and so creatively rewarding about that. And then at the end of the day, if you're having a good time at it, that mission mission accomplished for us. I agree. I was swelling and I was laughing throughout the entire film. <laughs> Great. Now, as of being a reimagining of Dracula's daughter, um, if you could choose another one of the monsters to take to go against these four characters, who would you choose if you had a different choice to choose a different monster to go against these guys? Oh, that's a great question. I mean, we've always thought that there's room for an amazing new Jekyll and Hyde story. Um, it feels like one that's ripe for ripe for exploration. So yeah, let's pit Abigail against. <laughs> I gotta say, if you got this cast of uh, you know misfits going against the Invisible Man, it could be very cool. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I need to see this movie now that you've just finished this. And speaking of the cast, I mean the ensemble. You have. You have Melissa Brera, my boy Dan Stevens, Alicia Weir. I mean, also talk about the finding of Alicia Weir to cast as Abigail. And I mean, it was, I think, the thing we were most anxious about, having read the script, you know, it was like, wow, this is, this, this is not a small role. And this mm -hmm. character, this actor is going to have to do a bit of everything, like deeply emotional scenes, big action. I mean, just the horror elements. I mean, there was, it was very demanding. And so... There was a lot of pressure in finding the right person, and I, when we first met Alicia, it was just one of those light bulb moments for us where we went, oh, this is actually a really, really easy choice. And then showing up on set that first day of shooting, we immediately knew that we were going to be, she was going to be carrying all of us through the movie. We were riding, we were standing on her shoulders. <laughs> now, as you can tell... I'm kind of a big Dracula yeah. fan over here. <clears throat> How early in the process you should know you're going to use Swan Lake? throughout the movie. You know, that was in the first draft of the script that we read. Oh. It opened with her at a ballerina studio. Is that what you call them? Yeah, ballerina like a studio. rehearsal studio. <laughs> yeah, rehearsal studio. Uh, you know, just practicing by herself in a room and Swan Lake was playing. And that, I think it really informed us in a lot of fun ways, you know, kind of the ties to the original Dracula movie of how we could incorporate that throughout the movie. And it kind of grew and grew and grew as... The movie grew and we started working on it with Alicia who we didn't know was a really talented dancer but she is so we leaned into it even more and it became like a big part of the identity yeah. of it. So one thing I was curious about is that since you've gone from one horror icon to the next how does your style of storytelling change when you go from a creature like Ghostface to someone like you know Dracula's daughter? I mean I, I think that and this is really to Universal's credit I think that they were really comfortable with us interpreting Abigail as a character in, in a way that was fully ours. And I think that um, there was, there was a, a bit of a weight off knowing that, yeah, while we were stepping into, uh, stepping on hallowed ground with you know, the MonsterVerse, that we were gonna be allowed to be really weird and to take some real risks with it. And I think for us, that was such an exciting opportunity and um, we're just we can't say enough about how grateful we are that they they let us make this bonkers movie hit like smash subscribe and get notified for when our reviews interviews and news go live